I'm Andrew from the Doherty Art School and today I'm going to show you how to turn this old lawn chair into this. For this project you're going to need an old lawn chair, scissors, two colors of parachute cord about 400 feet of each, two crochet needles, a lighter, and a dowel rod. First you'll need to cut any existing material off the lawn chair. Because of how this chair was made, I'm starting out horizontally, so I'm going to tie a double knot to the bottom left. Then we're going to pull the thread to the other side. So you'll want to make a little loop, put it over the pole, and then pull it under the two threads. Then you'll stick the crochet hook through and pull it tight. Then you're going to pull your string across to the other side, make another loop, bring that underneath the two threads, and then put in the crochet needle and pull it tight just like you did on the other side. You're going to pull the thread to the other side, create another loop, pull that in between the two threads, then you're going to hook it onto the crochet hook and pull that first loop on top of the second loop. And then push it through, pull it tight, and do the same thing on the other side. Continue on with the same technique until you reach the top of the chair. Now we've reached the top so you can go ahead and cut your thread with enough room to go back and forth one more time. You're going to pull it around the pole and over the thread. Then you're going to stick the end of the thread through the loop, pull it tight, and then pull it across to the other side. You're going to pull it around the pole and over the top thread. Then again, you're going to put the end of the thread through that last loop. You're going to pull it tight, and then you're going to do a double knot to secure it. Use the same method to go horizontally across the bottom of the chair. Before we start our vertical weave, I'm going to loosely tie a dowel rod to a few of the bottom threads. This will just help us keep it really tight while we're weaving, and it will be removed when we're done. Now I've tied my green thread on and I'm going to start weaving with a loop through the pink threads. For this pattern, I'm alternating going over six pink threads and under six pink threads. When you get to the bottom, we're going to treat it just like we did going horizontally with the pink thread. So you're going to pull the loop through, behind the two green threads, stick your crochet hook through it, and then pull it tight. Once 
loop the green thread the same way across the top bar and then you can pull it back through in the same pattern you just did. So after doing about six strands of the green, I started shifting the pattern down a little bit each time so I get this staggered effect. And then I continued that on until the very end. When you're done, you can remove the dowel and then pull the bottom to straighten it up. After finishing the top, you can tie it off and then you can finish the bottom with the vertical threads just like we did for the top. For any loose threads, you can just cut the ends off, then take your lighter, burn the end, and then use something metal like a pair of scissors to press it tight. Thanks for watching and please check out the rest of the Doherty's videos. Bye bye.